Welcome to another Arduino Projects video. In this video, we'll be looking at the first version of what I refer to as an audible visible level. There's plenty of circuits out there where people make something like this. And I had a need for it the other day when I was trying to build a fairly long shelf on the wall under a shelter. And it was sort of dark and I had kept having to glance at the level over and over again. And it got kind of irritating and I was like, well, there has to be a solution to this. And I was familiar with the idea of a digital level. And I said, well, maybe I can make one. And so I took this ADXL335 an Arduino Pro Mini. I have a 5 volt voltage regulator that I'll just plug a 9 volt battery into, some decoupling capacitors, as well as three LEDs and a buzzer. You can use this circuit to detect when there's a tilt on the X axis, when the left side is too high or the right side is too high. What became the challenge of this project was obtaining a significant degree of sensitivity and precision so that it would be usable for what I was trying to do. Building shells in a, under a shelter in the yard, it doesn't have to be pristine professional grade carpentry, but you don't want your stuff to roll off on the ground or it to look too bad. <laughs> and using a level is the simplest way to resolve that problem. Use a level when the bubble's in the middle, you're good. But it's not so great if you're in darker conditions. And also, if you attach this and it's far enough away from you toward the center of the board, then it's kind of hard to make sure. And actually, it's great if you're looking directly at the bubble. You can tell if it's level or not. But what if you're a little bit to the side? It gets a little harder. So this is just a digital solution. This is the first version. It still needs to be refined. And right now, it only does the x-axis it would eventually need to be able to account for the Y. If you're level this way, you could still be cock-sided that way or that way. So it needs to have X and Y as well as to be truly useful, I would want it to be able to do fence post with tilts or the Z. And this is a three axis accelerometer. It's perfectly equipped to handle those axes. But let's look at how it works. Not the immediately obvious way one would do it when you apply power to the circuit into the circuit it takes a little while for the green level light to come on well why is that it's because i didn't hard code the level value instead i let it determine what the level value is which means i have to place this circuit on a on a surface using a typical spirits level then make sure that it's level then place the circuit on it plug it in and then give it a few seconds and it will establish the variable value it needs for level. Then it will average the readings it's taking from the ADXL335 and after it's completed it'll find a sort of average mean reading and then it use and then it compares that to the value it established as level. And that's all it does. And then when there's a deviation from that, if the value after it's been averaged is greater than the value it established for level then say it could be a tilt to the right and if the value after it's averaged is less than the value it established for level it could be a tilt to the left what's interesting to me is the amount of sensitivity obtained it jumped initially from a value of like 321 to 322 that was the raw reading off the x-axis that I was receiving to the serial monitor. That's kind of a tough case to work around in code because it prohibits hard coding a solution unless you want to set a range, say from 323 to 321, anywhere in there counts as level. But if you do that, then your bubble may be all the way over, it may be halfway across the black line and way out of level, it may be over like this. And it, still, and it could still be reading level. Well, that's not going to work at all. That's what happens if you try to go 323 to 321, or that's what I encountered in this particular case. So I had to do some signal processing to get it to have this degree of sensitivity. And we can zoom in so that we can get a good line of sight on this bubble. And this is a good test of the sensitivity. As the bubble, we'll just watch it as it moves. The left is raised. 
as soon as it touches the black line, the high left light starts to indicate, as well as the buzzer, that there's a problem. And then when it goes really far out, this light becomes stable and the buzzer turns into a continuous tone. As well as if it tilts to the right, as soon as it touches the line, it's got a little, it's, the sensitivity seems to be a little greater on the left hand side than the right hand side. But still, that's okay, for most backyard purposes at least. And that'll work fine for what I needed it for. In the dark, having a hard time seeing the bubble inside the spirits, this will solve that problem for me. And it's a really simple circuit. That's what's great about it, is it's just the X out from the accelerometer to an analog pin of the Pro Mini. And then it's three LEDs, a buzzer, and a 5-volt regulator with some decoupling capacitors as well as a diode, a protection diode. So if I happen to plug the battery in backwards, it won't destroy all the rest of the circuitry. But as mentioned, this is only the X axis, the horizontal, this way axis. You could still be just as much out of level. If you're level on the X, you could still be tilted on the Y. And so the next versions need to account for the Y axis as well as the X. Maybe I'll put two red LEDs here. And so I'll have X out of sync indicators and have Y out of sync indicators. And then eventually be able to do fence post style Z axis work. This just to get give everybody an idea of the project. I think it's kind of neat. It's simple. Is it the only way to do this? No, you can actually do this with comparators, op amp style comparators, which I have done that. I, was, I did it while I was doing this project, and those are interesting. There's a challenge to them trying to get level to come out. It's easy to get a left or right tilt, but to get a level that'll match the precision of the little bubble inside the spirits, that's kind of a challenge. I'm still working on it. But in the end, this is a neat kind of project. It's a neat way to make use of this analog accelerometer to do some useful work. Something that can be extremely helpful. This is where the project stands and I thought it might be interesting or inspire someone else to attempt this project themselves. Anyone can take a look at the code that will be in that first comment and just let me know if you know a way to filter the signal better to get even greater sensitivity. And I'd definitely be interested in it. I don't claim to be a digital signal processing expert by no means. Not too bad for right now. Decent sensitivity. It's just, that's the status at this moment. If you found this video to be interesting or helpful, please consider clicking like and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.